Hi, I'm Abhi, and in this video, I want to show you how I collect and shred up mulch. So I'm in a creek here, which is right next to our farm, and there's a lot of mulch down here in the creek bed. So I'm going to be collecting this first, and then taking it home, and then showing you how I shred it up. So obviously there's not a lot to collecting mulch, but I just wanted to tell you that I prefer using a basket as opposed to a sack, because it has a really wide opening at the top, and it's really easy to get mulch in it as opposed to a sack because especially when you're collecting on your own a sack can be quite difficult. So this is where the shredding of the mulch happens, in the chicken coop. So I'm just going to dump this in here. I'm just going to spread it out a bit. So over the course of the next few days, they're just going to shred this up really fine and since they just love scratching all the time. And there's one way to actually speed this up and make it quite a lot faster. It's by using some grain. So all you do is you just take some grain here and you just sprinkle it on this mulch and then they're immediately going to start just scratching it up like crazy and probably it'll get shredded up like twice as fast, I guess, or maybe even more. It just takes a little bit of grain, like a spoon or two, and they'll just keep scratching it all day. So besides the fact that we get some really nice finely shredded mulch out of this by the time they're done with it, there's some other benefits as well. So the first one is that it provides them a lot of entertainment during the day. So since they're closed up in this kind of a coop, they don't have a lot to do during the day. So if you can just throw some mulch in there, that'll keep them quite entertained, scratching it up all day. The second benefit is that it keeps them out of contact with their manure to a certain degree. So apparently it's unhealthy if they stay in too much contact with their manure. So this can help prevent that to, to a certain degree. And the third benefit would be that um, when, when we take out the leaves out of here to put in the garden or wherever we use it, the manure also is mixed in the leaves so we get to use that uh, that way instead of it just getting lost in the soil over here. The fourth benefit is that this layer of mulch protects the soil in the chicken coop from, from flying away as dust when they scratch it. Because if there's no mulch here, they're just going to be scratching the soil and all of it's going to just be flying off in dust, especially in the summer season. So those are, those are the four benefits of this. Um, and there's there's other ones also, if, depending on how you design the system. If you had a fruit tree in here, then this would also be acting as mulch for the fruit tree and, and so on. There could be many more. Here, these are the benefits I have. So now I'm just going to be showing you what happens to this mulch over the next few days. And um, then I'll talk about what I can use it for.
So here we are on the chicken coop. This is day five, and it's looking pretty good now. It's gotten treaded up quite a bit. Uh, it, it took a bit longer than I expected, actually, because some of our chickens are brooding, but, but you get the idea how it works. So now I can use this for multiple things. The first one being that I can um, use it in the garden to mulch between um, plants which have been planted really close together. So that's where it comes in handy a lot. So if there's like, let's say, onions which are planted like this close, it's very difficult to put big leaves between that. So until I figured this out, I wasn't able to mulch those plants which were planted really close to each other. The second thing it can be used for is in the compost toilet. So you can use it instead of sawdust actually. You might want to go a bit finer than this, so if I waited for a couple more days or so, then I could use it in the compost toilet. And that's quite a useful thing actually. We've used it um, several times there before, and it works quite well. And the third thing I use it for is a compost pile, like I have here in the chicken coop. So I just get this stuff powdered here, and then the compost pile is right here, so I can compost it. And the reason it works well for a compost pile is because it's, it's, it has a lot more surface area than if I used whole leaves. So since it's shredded up so fine, I might want to go a bit finer again for a compost pile, but um, it works quite well then because it's, it has a lot more surface area. So that's pretty much it. It's a very simple idea and it's proved to be quite useful for me in the last several months.